tupo katika uwanja wa Ali Hassan Mwinyi mkoani Tabora sehemu ambapo kesho patapigwa mchezo wa championship DTB watakuwa wageni wa Kitayose mchezo wa kutamatisha championship msimu huu mchezo ambao pia huenda ukaamua nani anakwenda kuwa bingwa wa championship msimu huu na kinachofanyika hapa ni wachezaji kupiga picha za kumbukumbu kwa sababu kwa kawaida kuna ambao wataondoka na wengine watabaki kwenye timu pengine eh wanaweza kabaki wote kwa hiyo itakuwa ni sehemu ya kumbukumbu kwamba msimu uliopita tukiwa championship tulikuwepo hapa katika uwanja wa Ali Hassan Mwinyi tukapata picha ya kumbukumbu na moja kwa moja tunaungana na mwalimu wa DTB kupata mawili matatu kuelekea katika mchezo huo wa hapo kesho ambapo yeye atatuambia kiufundi katika kila ambacho anakwenda kukifanya katika mchezo huo ticha mambo uh, poa are you good yes. Uh, I am fine. Uh, first I of all, still manage the Swahili, but you have to learn in Swahili. No, next season I will be better. For be sure. better. Yeah. So uh, first of all, tell us your name and tell us your final preparation ahead uh, final match against Kitayose uh, tomorrow. Um, Coach Sergio Daniel from Portugal. Mm -hmm. uh, regarding our final final preparation, ah, we are working well. This uh, week was uh, very good uh, with a lot of intensity. It was a little bit less difficult than last week because of the travel that we made from Dar es Salaam to, to Kigoma. It was a little bit difficult, so we just managed the, the physical shape to try to get some good result in, uh, at Kigoma. Mm -hmm. Thank God we draw. Uh, that was a little bit expected from our part mm -hmm. regarding our physical shape, but uh, tomorrow, this, this week, for it was uh, better. Mm -hmm. We had more time to work more time to, to to develop our tactical things mm -hmm. our physical things our technical things mm -hmm. our uh, even our psychology also mm -hmm. so i think we are ready for tomorrow to get a good result here against a very tough team we have to respect them but we are here to win so you have already promoted it to the premier league but uh, tomorrow game it is a like final game because if you won't win tomorrow you are going not uh, you are not going to be a champion maybe this maybe uh give you some difficult time to prepare your team no uh, i think the the boys are not uh, thinking about that uh, we like you said before uh, end well we already got the ticket for premier league it was our main objective of course but uh, for the CV, for each one of, uh, of us, including the, the, the coach, uh, a title, it's, all, it's always important. But I didn't saw pressure, understand? And we also are working these kind of things. We are trying to remove any kind of pressure for the result tomorrow, because for me, they are already champions. In my heart, uh, in, my, in my head, they are already champions. We are already even starting the, 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 the next season to be one step ahead of our opponents. But, uh, of course, a title is always a title, so yeah. for us it will be wonderful to finish going to the Premier League and also finish with the title. So no matter what uh, tomorrow uh, result? Uh, no matter what, we are champions already. Mm -hmm. In my heart, in my thinking, uh, in my head and uh, the boys also, because it's what I'm talking about. This is more, more important than anything. So I have to work all this thing, removing all the, this kind of pressure, because the, the pressure that we ha handle in the, the Premier League, it's different. So that's where we have to, to start working a, a different thing and try to surpri surprise everybody. But our work this uh, week was all about removing the pressure maximum all about removing these uh, oh we have to be champions right to be no we are already champions we in our heart in our in our head we are already champions our main objective is uh, done but like i said we are here to win the match we are here to win the title and that's what we, we, we have to do tomorrow so can you expect to see uh, those player remaining until you you are going to play your first match in the premier league or we are going to see some changes of players oh uh, we know uh, me as a coach like any other coach, coach in the world we always want the better for us we always have uh, our ideas uh, of course that uh, most of them I, I think most of them will be with us uh, next season but we of course we have some chances uh, some changes because we have to improve we have to develop for for premier league because premier league is not second division it's more difficult uh, the teams are very tough so we had to 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 get uh, more quality because even the quality that will come after we also improve the ones that will be here so it we have to be a more compet competitive uh, squad so like I said before we always search for the better understand so 
we will see some 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 changes of of course but also thinking about what is the best of the team thank you so much oh you're welcome all the best thank you, my Huyo ni kocha wa DTB. Tumemalizana naye hapa na tapata nafasi pia kuzungumza na mmoja ya wachezaji kwa kwa ajili basi kupata machache uh, kuelekea katika mchezo wa hapo kesho lakini pia kupata machache mara baada ya kufanikiwa kuwa mabingwa na James uh, Happy God Msuva ndiye ambaye tumepata nafasi ya kuzungumza naye. Msuva nianze kwa Hongera. Umekuwa miongoni mwa wachezaji ambao wameandika rekodi ya kuipandisha DTB kwenye ligi. Hebu tuambie, safari ilikuwaaje tangu ambapo mlianza mpaka hapa ambapo mnakwenda kucheza mchezo wenu wa mwisho hapo kesho? <coughs> kwanza kikwetu tumshukuru kwanza Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu imekuwa neema kipekee sana kwetu. Ilikuwa ni mara ya kwanza mimi kushiriki kucheza ligi daraja ya kwanza, lakini pia imekuwa ni historia nzuri kwangu. Nimeanza kwenye hali ngumu changamoto nyingi unajua sema watu wenye mafanikio lazima iwe na changamoto zake lakini tunamshukuru Mungu ametutetea ametupigania mpaka hatua hii ya mwisho ambayo tunaenda kuimaliza siku ya kesho e, mpaka timu kuwa kuweza kuingia kwenye NBC tena msimu ujao kwa kweli namshukuru Mungu changamoto ilikuwa wapi kwenye safari yenu hii haikuwa uh, rahisi lakini pengine kipi ambacho e, kilikuwa ni changamoto kubwa kwenu licha ya mafanikio haya ambayo mmeyapata changamoto ya kwanza aina ya wachezaji tuliokuwa DTB ni wachezaji ambao tayari tulishacheza ligi ligi kuu na hatukuwahi kwa asilimia kubwa kucheza ligi daraja ya kwanza. Kwa hiyo changamoto ya kwanza ilikuwa ni pressure kwetu kwamba tuangalie status zetu zilivyo. Tunakaa tu maintain status zetu. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa changamoto kubwa. Kwa hiyo sisi tulivyokuwa tunacheza tulikuwa tunaitetea status zetu tulikuwa na maintain tusiweze kushuka. Na tunamshukuru Mungu tumefanikiwa kwenye hilo. Una unahisi una DTB wanakwenda kufanya vizuri kwenye ligi kuu simu ja? Ni jambo la kumuomba Mungu kwa sababu unajua kila timu ina falsafa zake tunaomba Mungu kila kitu kiweze kwenda vizuri malengo ya timu ni kufanya vizuri kama ilivyokuwa hapa awali sidhani kama kuna mtu anayeweza kwenda kushindana akaombea kushindwa kila mtu anaomba kufanikiwa kwa sisi DTB lengo la kwanza ni kupata mafanikio zaidi ya hapa tuliyopata pengine uwepo wa kaka yako uh, Simon ulikuwa ni chachu ya wewe kuimprove kutoka pale ambapo ulikuwa mpaka hapa ambapo unaonekana sasa hivi unarejea kwenye ubora wako lazima iwe chachu kwa sababu unayaona mafanikio yake naona maendeleo yake kwenye mpira kwa hiyo ninapomuona yeye kila siku ananifanya anazidi ku, ku, kuongeza bidii kwa sababu yeye tayari kashatengeneza njia yake ya mafanikio na mimi natakia nitengeneze njia yangu ya mafanikio na itengenezaje basi anatakiwa niachukue yale kwa mazuri ambayo yeye anayafanya basi na mimi niongeze na ya kwangu niweze kufikia malengo. Pengine ilikuwa nakuumiza kuona yuko nyumbani wakati swala lake likiwa bado linashughulikiwa na mamlaka husika. Sana linaumiza kwa sababu ukiangalia je sifa kubwa ya mchezaji au kitu kizuri cha kwa mchezaji ni kucheza sio kukaa nje kwa hiyo kitendo cha yeye kukaa nje kuna vitu vingi vinapungua kwa kiasi fulani sio kwa kiasi kikubwa kwa sababu tayari kashapita sehemu nyingi kwa mentality yake iko sawa kwa hiyo inaumiza kwa sababu napenda ninavyomuona anavyocheza kila ito poloni kimwana anacheza bila kubadilika hiki kaongeza hiki kapunguza hiki kwa hiyo ni kitu kizuri lakini pia ni changamoto kwake na kwangu pia pengine kwa kumalizia uh, ikitokea nafasi ya kumshauri taarifa zinasema siju Simba Yanga unamhitaji. Kitokea nafasi ya kumshauri uh, kati ya hizo timu mbili. Una, unahisi ni, ni wakati wake kurudi nyumbani sasa hivi ama na nafasi ya kwenda kwingine zaidi? Bado ana nafasi ya kwenda mbali zaidi ya hapa. Japo maamuzi ni yake siwezi kumpangia, lakini mi naona bado ana nafasi kubwa ya kucheza nje ya hapa na naamini anaweza kufanya hivyo. Msimu huu utabaki hapa ama kuna deal tayari zishafunguka kwa upande wako? Kumuomba Mungu ndugu yangu. Eh tumuombe Mungu kila kitu kinawezekana. Asante sana. Ah shukrani. Huyo ni James Msuva. Wacha tu umalizane na Zahiri. Uh, mambo vipi? Kwa vizuri. Kwa sana. Shukrani sana. Mapambano yalikuwa makubwa sana mpaka hapa ambapo mnafikia. Pengine uh, changamoto kubwa ambayo imepitia kama DTB ilikuwa ni ipi? Kwanza ndo shukuru Mungu mpaka ndo fikia hapa tumekuwa tunaelekea kuwa mabingwa kwa sababu tumebakisha pointi tufanye tatu tuwe mabingwa kabisa ingawa tumepanda changamoto ni kubwa kwa sababu timu yetu jinsi ilivyo na timu pinzani tukutana nayo kila mechi kwetu huwa ni finali ilikuwa inawatesa ile kuonekana DTB na wachezaji wengi sana wenye majina na huku mwishoni mlionekana kama ku drop hivi Aa, kusema kweli hatuja drop ni mwendelezo wa ligi inavyokuwa daraja ya kwanza ni gumu sana na hivi ukiona wachezaji wetu jinsi walivyo unaweza ukapanda pili kwa kuta kuna wachezaji wawili watatu ambao walicheza ligi msimu uliopita sisi kwetu tunakuta wachezaji wengi kwa hiyo kila mtu anataka kuja sehemu ambayo anaona hii inaweza kucheza kwa hiyo kila mechi kwetu inakuwa ngumu sio kwamba tuli drop tulipambana mpaka mwisho wetu ndio umeona tumefikia ipi ilikuwa momenti bora sana kwa kwe wakati unacheza championship msimu 
bora ni kutoa ubingwa kwa sababu nakumbuka mwaka jana nimetoa ubingwa na Geita na hii ni na hii nafikiri nitaeka rekodi kwa sasa hivi. Back to back. Back to back. Asante sana. Shukrani. Eh bwana Chaima tumalizie. Uh, mambo vipi? Uko vizuri? kesho mchezo wa mwisho na pingine ni mchezo ambao huenda uh, ukawa ukaenda kuwatawanya wachezaji wote wa DTB neno lako kuelekea katika mchezo huu ah cha kwanza nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ah tumefanya mazoezi ya mwisho leo hapa kuelekea kwa mechi ya kesho na kitayosi wote wachezaji tuko sawa na tunaamini kesho sisi tutapata ushindi kipi ambacho kinakupa imani ya kufanya vizuri kesho ah uh, unajua Uh, kila mchezaji lazima kuwe na positive mind. Mimi muda wote nakuwa na positive mind. Najua eh, kila mechi mimi nitafanya vizuri na timu yangu itafanya vizuri na unaona na team spirit ya timu yetu iko vizuri. Ndio manake sasa hizi sisi ndio tunaongoza mpaka leo kwenye hii ligi. Itakuwa haipendezi kama kesho sisi tikifungwa na tutakupoteza ubingu. Itakuwa haipendezi sana. Wanashishimbi wale mchezaji ambaye ni mzoefu pia. Ah, ni kweli ni mchezaji mzoefu na ukaangalia kwenye timu yetu wengi tumecheza ligi kuu sio tena mwaka moja miaka mingi so tutakutana wazoefu huyu anakuwa atahitaka sana ndio atapata matokeo kwa kumalizia wakati uh, unaondoka hapa kuna taarifa kwamba metacha anatakiwa na DTB kuja kucheza kwenye nafasi ambayo wewe unacheza golikipa taarifa hizo ulizipokea jana kama mchezaji eh, unahisi nini hasa ambacho kinakwenda kutokea kwenye future yako na DTB uh, unajua mimi kama mchezaji Uh, kila mchezaji muda wote unatakiwa ujiandaa kuwa na challenge kwenye mpira na timu yoyote inakuwa na position position zote zina challenge mm. eh, kuna wachezaji hawa wanapewa na challenge lazima timu ifanye vizuri mitaja mm. ni, ni kipa nzuri na mimi ni kipa nzuri mm. mwana na mimi uh, ni mzoefu tena kwenye mpira nishacheza timu ya taifa nishacheza timu timu kuu kwenye ligi yetu ya kuu kule Malawi ile nyasa big bulls so kwa mimi ni kitu kizuri tena mkakutana na watu kama wale lazima kila mtu unajua mimi naweza kuwa na weakness hiyo kwa hiyo ni strength na yeye anaweza kuwa na weakness kwa mimi nisaidiane eh hapo watu mnasaidiana ni kitu kizuri kwenye timu asante sana chai asante sana e bwana huyo ni Owen Chaima mlinda langu ambaye amecheza takriban mechi zote akiwa na DTB tumpata nafasi ya kuzungumza nao watu wote hawa tukianza na mwalimu e, wa DTB James Msuva Zahil pamoja na Owen Chaima mimi naitwa Isa Mbuzi na hapa ni Ali Hassan Mwinyi mkoani Tabora mahali ambapo kabumbu mbungi bori itapigwa hapa ya mwisho kabisa ya kufunga msimu wa championship Huseni Manane yuko nyuma ya kamera kuhakikisha kila kitu kinakwenda sawa tukutani hapo kesho kwenye mchezo ambao utakwenda kuwa mubashara kabisa kupitia Global TV online hapa pengine watu kesho wakashangilia ubingwa karibu Karibu ubaki nasi muda wote mpaka pale ambapo tutasema bye bye championship 2021 2022 The Atriums ni hoteli yenye mandhari tulivu na viwango vya hali ya juu huku huduma bora zikitolewa na hudumu walibobea kwenye fani hii kwa huduma kama vile malazi chakula vile vile tuna garden kwa ajili ya maharusi birthday party hata mikutano bila kusahau swimming pool kwa wale wanaopenda kuogelea kwa mawasiliano zaidi unaweza kutupigia simu nambari 0655026463 au 0763812626 unaweza pia kutembelea tovuti yetu w www.atriumshotel.co.tz Tupo Sinza Africa Sana The Atriums